Are you ready to go on an adventure with me in Epcot today in World Showcase? Today we are going to be visiting the Mexico Pavilion. We're going to go through all of the things that you can experience here, the characters you can meet here, going inside the pyramid, seeing the shops, and eating at all the places around the Mexico Pavilion. You ready? Let's go. Because of how small and how tight the pavilion is inside, strollers are not going to be allowed. So you're going to be able to park those on the right hand side of the pyramid. When you enter the pyramid, you're going to see all of these ex exhibits all around uh, the first entrance. I will say that your eyes are going to need to adjust just a little bit. So be wary of those um, whenever you step in here, but you're going to be able to go around and see authentic art from all over Mexico. There are some interactive things that you can do and you can make your own Katrina. And I'll just kind of show you a little bit of what it looks like. Now the pictures will get downloaded to your My Disney Experience account. So if you have the memory maker, they will be in where you see your photos. There it goes. Let's design our Katrina. Drizzle hair. Ooh. <laughs> that one. Nice. Let's go blue. Ooh, artwork. Ooh, ooh. I think I think that was my face. Nope, I like that one. Yep. Clothes. Ooh. I like that one. Let's do done. When you enter the pyramid, it's going to be like coming into a Mexican market. You're going to find authentic Mexican artwork here. You're going to find Disney-related uh, merchandise as well. You'll find some tequila glassware, some Mexican glassware, some hats, so all things that you could think of uh, that are related to Mexico. Inside the Mexico Pavilion, you are going to find a ride at the back left. It is called the Grand Fiesta Tour with the Three Caballeros. What you're going to do is you're going to chase Donald through a Mexican market. Let's go follow along on his adventure. Two things to note with this ride. Number one, when you get in line, you cannot have any open drinks. So if you have a margarita or something like that has an open top, you are going to need to finish it before you get in line. Closed drinks, like you have a cap on it, you're good to go. Number two, this is not a Genie Plus priority. In fact, this is a filler ride. So if you can find this ride in about 30 minutes or under, depending on when you're coming, that's when you want to get in line. Inside the pyramid, there is a table service location and that is the San Angel Inn. If you have dining reservations at that particular spot, you are going to check in on the right hand side of the pavilion and they will take you in to your seating area from there. One of my favorite lounges in all of World Showcase is going to be the La Cava de Tequila, which is located inside the pyramid. La Cava de Tequila can be two things for you. Number one, it can just be a walk up to the bar and actually order the margarita and take it with you to walk around. Or you can come in and sit down, kind of like a lounge area. There is very limited seating, but it is very nice to come in, get off your feet, get in the cool air, and out of the sun for just a little bit. When it comes to food in here, it is just going to either just be salsa, just be queso, or just be guacamole. Today I got the combo trio, which is the salsa, the queso, and the guacamole. And then I got the malumita, which is made with a mezcal. So are we ready? Let's do it. Amazing. It is so smoky, but so light. It has pineapple, ginger in there. Go ahead and get the trio. So let's go ahead and try all three of them. So, you can definitely tell it's real, it's green, it's rich. It does have some green chilies in there, but the taste on this is really good. Exactly authentic, tasty, which is what you want for the salsa. The waitress did tell me that it was hot, so let's see how hot it is. 
say for a that has good heat on it. It is very tangy, so it's very, very liney. It's not chunky in any way. Yep. Ooh, I can feel the heat coming, but it is really, really good. It's very bright tasting. A little bit of smoky, like, aftertone on it, but yeah, very good. And then for the guacamole, it does have a little bit of cilantro in it, but that's really about it. So no tomatoes or anything so far that I've come across, so it is just... So it's nice and creamy. I have had a bite already. But it's exactly what I'm looking for. As you are traveling around the world in World Showcase and you have little ones with you, or if you just want to do it, you can grab these little bags right here. They're Ziploc bags and they're called Kid Cut Stations. So what you're able to do is you're able to go up to the table and the cast member that's going to be sitting at the table there is going to have a little like postcard for you. So you'll get a little sticker and you'll get a little a fun fact about each country. And then also on the back, there is usually like a color thing for you to be able to color or the little ones to color, whichever. But it is just a great little thing to do as you're traveling around the World Showcase. So inside the pyramid, it is going to be near the fountain area. There is also a quick service location here called the La Cantina, and this is going to be on the lagoon side. It has some great nachos, tacos, churros, things like that. It is outside seating underneath covering, and it is on the lagoon, which gets a very, very nice breeze. Now, this is not on mobile order, so sometimes there can be a line to even get in to be able to order at the quick service location. If you decide to sit at the La Cantina in the evening time to be able to try and see the firework from the covering there, just be aware that because of the roof of the seating area, sometimes you can't see the whole show. So just kind of keep that in mind if you are thinking that you're going to try and get that spot. Now, it also does get very, very packed when it gets closer time for the fireworks. So again, just put that in your back pocket. Chosa de Margarita is another quick service location with a multitude of margaritas, beer, and small bites. The character to meet in the Mexico Pavilion is Mexican Donald. He will be located outside of the pyramid on your right hand side. Sometimes his line can get up to about 30 to 45 minutes. So make sure that you get in line a couple minutes before he actually comes out on his scheduled time. Live entertainment happens multiple times a day and it really adds to the ambiance and really brings this pavilion alive. <laughs> Mexico Pavilion, there's a second table service location. It is called the La Hacienda de San Angel, and I was able to score a dining reservation almost close to the fireworks. So my reservation was for about 7.30 p.m. Um, I checked in really early to let them know and requested, if possible, if I could get a fireworks view. And they're able to accommodate this evening, so I'm able to show you what it's like if you get a reservation here at this location and look Look over the lagoon and watch the Epcot fireworks. Mm. Let's go. I'm in for a treat. I tell you, the cast member made some magic for me. This view is unbelievable. I have a front row seat to watch the fireworks tonight. So it pays to number one, I got my reservation um, at seven o'clock. However, I went up a little bit early and asked for a firework view. So they kind of bumped me down to about 7.30. Uh, that way it'll give me enough time to get situated, look at the menu, eat, and then enjoy the fireworks. So uh, if you are wanting to try to get the spot to watch the fireworks from inside, that is how you do it. I ordered the cochinita pibil. Please forgive me if I butchered that. Uh, but this is braised pork over black beans. This is the sweet uh, plantains with crema and uh, queso fresco on it. And then we've got some rice right here. And then we have some tortillas. And then, of course, my cucumber margarita. The cucumber margarita is the, made with arete blanco tequila, has fresh lime juice, fresh cucumber, orange liqueur, and then tahine as the rimmer. Mm. Perfection. Oh my gosh, that is so light and so refreshing. It is so good. First bite. Braised pork. It's not spicy at all. All the flavors are really flavorful. 
but it's not so hot that you can't enjoy it. Like, there's no heat to it at all. The sauce that it comes with, oh, so good. You ready for the plantains? Perfection. So the dish that I'm eating tonight is actually served in the Yucatan, so South Mexico. Mm. So much food that came with this. Now I made three full tacos and I still have all of this food left. So food portion was a lot, a lot. World Showcase is coming alive. Look, all the lights. Oh, it's beautiful. My favorite time of the night. getting a front row seat to the fireworks. It was amazing. Remember that every single Disney vacation can be different with a new experience. So on your next Walt Disney World Resort trip, try to get a reservation here to see the fireworks over the lagoon. Hope you enjoyed our day in the beautiful Mexico Pavilion in Epcot. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing as I take you around all the parks at the Walt Disney World Resort in Florida. I'm Terry with Creating the Magic and have a magical night.